Hi guys, what's up? Natasha here. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a voiceover style makeup routine. Everyday makeup routine, I would say. As you can hear above me, there's a ton of people in my house right now, so I couldn't film a chit chat get ready with me, which is what I wanted to do initially, which I tried to film. So we're stuck with voiceover, which is still fun and great. But anyways, I'm going to be showing you guys an everyday makeup routine, and I don't wear makeup every single day. I'd say I wear it like maybe once a week, but when I do wear makeup, this is what I, I guess, where? I'm sorry that it's taken so long for me to post this, but I've kind of just been trying to learn more about what I like and the products that I like. So anyways, I don't look as glam in the next clip, but if you guys want to find out how to get this makeup routine, um, then just keep watching. Hey, here's my face, clean and fresh. So I'm starting off by dampening my already clean beauty sponge, and then I'm taking my favorite CC cream and basically just dabbing it on the back of my hand and then just kind of patting it everywhere. I try to do my best to pounce instead of rub, and I just don't like streaks on my foundation. I don't think anybody does, so I just make sure that I do a good job of blending. I blend down the neck. Sometimes I even swipe on the ears a little bit just to make sure everything is the same color. I don't want any random, weird, pale patches on my skin. And then I'm going in with a lighter concealer and I'm rubbing it on the back of my hand just to kind of warm up the product. And then I'm applying it underneath my eyes so I can get rid of my hideous dark circles. Then I also take it on my chin and then a little bit on the creases of my nose, the bridge of my nose, and then just a little bit between the brows and the forehead just to highlight. And then I go back in with the beauty sponge and just kind of blend it all out to make sure it looks seamless. And then I'm taking this loose translucent powder that decided it wanted to get all over me today. And then I kind of just put it anywhere and everywhere. The places that I concentrate it is mostly my chin, my T-zone, and then where I contour because sometimes the foundation doesn't set and then when I go to apply bronzer it can be kind of patchy, which I hate. So I just make sure that I set everywhere, obviously under my eyes, and then a little bit on the eyelids as well. Next is brows, which I'm learning more about my brows every single day. They are such a struggle, but I'm trying to get better at them. Basically what I do is I just outline them, I make sure that I elongate the tail of the brow, and then I brush through them. That's pretty much it. I don't do a ton of filling in the actual center of the brow itself. I kind of just outline, brush through, and then elongate, and I call it a day. I literally let them do whatever they want because they have a mind of their own. Next, I'm going in with Hoola Bronzer and sweeping this in the crease of my eye. Basically, what I do for eyes is whatever I use for bronzer is what I put in the crease, and then whatever I use as a highlight, I put on the lid. Mostly because I'm lazy and I don't want to go grab another palette in another shade, but also I feel like it just makes the whole look kind of go together in a way. Then I go and I contour my nose. This is actually new for me. I used to never contour my nose, mostly because I was terrible at it, and then... I just started to. I'm taking this Olivia Jade Time Sephora palette, which I'm obsessed with, and this is what I'm going to be using as my highlight, so I just popped that same shade that I'm going to be using as a highlight on my lid, and then just blending everything out to make sure it's all nice and clean. And then, because I have blonde eyelashes and blonde everything, I just put a little bit, like a tiny bit of eyeliner just on my lash line, just to kind of define my eyes and make them a little bit more bold I guess because sometimes everything is a little bit too blonde. Then I'm just bronzing up the skin because I am so pale. This is an all-time low. My foundation shade is like the lightest that it goes and it's still too dark for me so I really need to tan up. Then I'm taking my favorite cream blush and I'm warming up the product again on the back of my hand and then I'm basically just applying it to my face with my fingers. I love watching myself do blush because you have to smile so that you can see your little cheeks and I just think it's the funniest thing. I like to go across the nose as well just to give that like sun-kissed look. Then I'm curling my eyelashes because obviously 
you have to curl your eyelashes. I don't know why I took such a long pause there. Then I'm going in with some waterproof mascara. I always do waterproof because I just feel like everything else is not as good, to be completely honest. And look at my lip like quivering as I do this. I have the worst mascara face. I don't even know what that is. And then I do a little bit on the bottom lashes. And then I'm taking that same Olivia palette and I'm just highlighting pretty much everywhere because I love when I look like I'm sweating glitter. So that's really good. Then, because I'm such a blush fiend, I'm literally taking more blush, this time powder, and I'm just popping it on the cheeks. Now I'm going in with a lip liner, and basically all I do is outline my lips and just make them more defined. I don't do any crazy outlining. That's way too complicated for me. I literally just take like the same color as my lips are already, and I just define them. Next, going in with my favorite lip plumping gloss. I'm just obsessed. There's nothing else to say. And then I am setting my face to make sure everything stays in place. And then I'm pretty much done. So that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. We're almost at 100,000, which is crazy. And I just want to say thank you again for all the love and support. You guys mean the world to me. And if you guys want to see more makeup videos or vlogs or anything in particular, leave a comment down below so I know what you guys want to see. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.